Let's take a look at CRIO. So CIRO is an implementation of the Kubernetes CRI interface to enable OCI um, uh, compatible runtime. So the CRI stands for Container Runtime Interface and the O stands for OCI, okay? So that's the logic there. And it's just an alternative to Containerd. So it's a lightweight alternative to using Docker Containerd as a runtime for Kubernetes. It allows Kubernetes to use OCI compliant runtime as the container runtime for running pods. Today it supports Run C and Kata containers. I didn't look at what container D supports for runtimes underneath, but that's where, you know, if you need particular runtimes, you might have to choose a runtime interface that you can use. And when you use managed providers, they might lock you into very particular container runtime interfaces that you cannot swap out. So that is something that might matter to you, but it really is more like a security and performance thing uh, and not so much like functionality wise because things don't seem to be much different. Um, so that's the idea there. But uh, yeah, so CRIO is just an alternative to container D and you know, I wish there was more to say about these container runtime interfaces, but that's all I have to find, okay?